hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is Chrissy, and in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys on how to cut a 360 degrees flare all right so i'm making this for a client and um, it's a gown just that the damper is going to be a 360 degrees flare and it's going to have pockets do you get so the waist circumference i'm making use of is 44 inches all right so i'm making use of two yards of fabric it's actually four yards so i will make use of two yards for the front then the other two yards for the back she's a very fat person and she doesn't want her flay too big do you get that's why i'm making two yards that's why i'm making use of two yards do you get so right now as you can see that i folded it into two firstly after folding it by two i also went ahead to fold it into four again you can see that i have four folds there as you can see all right so this is what I have here guys. Now what I'm going to be doing now um, is to go ahead and arrange them in place. Then after arranging, sorry, arrange it in place. After arranging it in place, I'm going to bring my tape. Alright, so remember the waist, our waist circumference is 44 inches. Alright, so I want to cut out the front flame. Alright, so later on I'll cut the other um, remaining flame out of camera. So to make a 360 degrees flare you need to add extra two inch to your waist circumference so remember the waist circumference is 46 so for this divide by two i'll divide it by two because they separate flare i'll have 23 so right now 23 that is half of circle i'll divide it into four all right so go ahead and divide the 23 into four when i divide it into four it's going to give me 5.75 inches all right so now i am going to place my my tape like this to get the 5.75 inches all right so i'll just place my tape i don't know if you can see this so right here i'll spot the 5.75 inches you can see that i just made my dot so i'll just place my tape then i'll measure from there to that length and i have 3.5 inches so i'll use the length of 3.5 inches to make a circle like this as you can see so after making my circle, I'll just go ahead and connect the dots to give me a, a circle. So I'll just remeasure it to know if I have exact and I have six inches there. Alright, so I'll just um remove any excess I have there. Alright. So now what I'm going to be doing again is to take the length. Alright, so for the length, I'm going I'm going to take the length of 19 inches as you can see that i'm marking 19 inches so i'll keep on marking 19 inches i'll use the 19 inches to form a circle so this 19 inches is the actual length for the flay all right but for the gum after sewing the flay after attaching the flay on the half length i will just add nets because the one i'm making the star she gave me has a net at the bottom part of the flay all right so this thread is just um to know how to cut your 360 degrees flare so after making my circle i'll just go ahead and cut it out so this is how you cut your 360 degrees flare all right so if you're making a 360 degrees flare actually you're not supposed to have a double flare like to have a two-piece flare but why i decide to cut it too like why i decide to have a two-piece for the flare is because of the the pocket i'm going to be attaching at the side the side has pocket i told you initially that i'm making it for a gown so the gown has pocket so i have to cut it into two so after cutting it i place my tape and you can see what i have there i have um i have 12.5 inches all right so after attaching to the half length i'll just go ahead and trim off any excess all right so this is it guys i've gone ahead to open it and this is how it looks like all right so this is how you go about cutting a 360 degrees flay it is actually very simple all right so if you're not making yours with a pocket you need to cut out just one piece okay thank you so much for watching 